Welcome back this morning. As we look toward winter, you may be wondering what's in the forecast for us. Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby is here with a look. Coming off a of backbreaker last winter, all of that heavy snow, a lot of folks are a little anxious about this upcoming season and I want to give you my thoughts on what I anticipate. It's easy to project that it won't be as snowy as last winter with all the snow we had. The Pacific Ocean has changed. Last year we had an El Nino. Now it's currently in a neutral pattern and forecast to stay that way, although that's not certain. We'll get bursts of cold and snow for sure and also some periodic warm ups, but also some meltdowns in there as well. One of those winters where we'll get some days in December and January we will probably be up into the 40s and even 50s. Remember last year we had that El Nino pattern. El Nino is when the Pacific Ocean, Central Pacific Ocean waters are warmer than average. That sets up kind of a stormy pattern from the Pacific across the United States, which brings us lots of storms and last winter brought us lots of snow. Well, this year the Central Pacific is closer to average temperature, what's called a neutral phase. Scientists at NOAA, they project that that neutral phase is forecast to last all the way actually through the upcoming winter. A 60% likelihood of that. A 30% chance that we could see the water warm enough to be considered a weak El Nino, and that might set us up for more significant snows, and only a 10% chance we go to the opposite phase of La Nina. I think this is the, uh, say, average jet stream for the upcoming winter season, more of a northwest flow than that westerly flow we had last year which does still bring a fair amount of snow across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes, but a relatively mild and dry winter for the West, the South, and also the East. Here are the NOAA outlooks for temperature for the next 120 days, warmer than average. The Rockies, the Southwest, the Gulf Coast, Florida, the East Coast, the only place where it's projected to be maybe cooler than average across the Great Lakes. You put that together with this, and this is their outlook for moisture, indication of above average moisture. And keep in mind, we've been in a wet pattern, and typically wet patterns in fall stick at least into part of the winter. So wet for the upper Midwest, dry across the Gulf Coast, and dry out here in California. Last winter, seventh snowiest winter ever. I want you to look at these years in snowfalls, and there's never been a back-to-back -back in the top 10. So that's why I'm pretty confident we won't have that kind of snow. But there were some snowy years, 59, 60, 65, 64, 65, 61, 62. So the early 60s, a lot of heavy snowfall. So this winter, snowfall should still be at or above average, but not like last year. Any severe cold waves, probably not real long lasting, so not a super harsh winter. No El Nino, probably no La Nina, the projection, but do keep the shovels handy and I anticipate some breaks where we warm up dramatically from time to time. Julie always tells me, Bill, what's the bottom line here? Well, the bottom line, I think temperature for the winter as a whole, slightly below average. Snowfall is still above average, 32 to 37 inches. Average is around 27, but versus last year, a lot less harsh of a winter. David. All right, Bill, thank you. A reminder that you can watch this chronicle on our KETV mobile app. I'm David Earl. Thanks for watching here this morning. We'll see you here next Sunday morning for KETV Newswatch 7's Chronicle.